Hey everyone, Nick Leibert with Exit Realty. And as many of you know, I'm very passionate about having a great realtor CRM for all of our agents. I believe that a database is your gold mine and it starts with your phone. So let's dive right in. How do you get the contacts from your phone to sync up to your CRM? Well, any good CRM is going to sync up these days to Google contacts. So in your iPhone, if you're going to go into your settings, like I just did, and again, I want to show you, it's that little settings wheel. You click on that, you scroll down, and then you get into the contacts button. And in that contacts button, you're going to see the word accounts. You're going to then click on the accounts feature, and then you're going to select Gmail. Now, if you have more than one Gmail account, you're going to want to go ahead and use the primary account. I only have one account I recommend you using. That primary account should be the big account that you've got all your contacts in already. If you're new to Gmail, go ahead and create a somewhat professional name. Of course, you can use GoDaddy or such to have a fancy domain name, but just a Gmail account. Any will do. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and select the green button. So for all of these pieces, you're going to see you want to have those selected, especially the contacts green selection. And then you're going to go back two screens. So you're going to click on accounts and then you're going to click on one more again. And where it says default account, you're going to want to click that Gmail account where it just says Gmail. So again, I do have two Gmail accounts, so I'm breaking my own rule here, but um, I recommend you have just one Gmail account and that primary account needs to be your default account in your settings. So once you do that, when you have a new contact, every time you get a new contact, I want you to follow this way. So when you meet someone new for the first time, you're gonna click on the plus button to add the contact. That should be a no-brainer. And then here's what is not a no-brainer for so many of us. We've been trained in life to do what? Get somebody's information in quick. So we create a nickname for him. Maybe it's John the Painter. Well, John actually, by the way, has his last name. And so maybe it's John Richards or whatever that person's name is. We're going to put in their full last name. If you are going back and cleaning up your contacts in your phone, because remember now they sync up from your phone to Gmail and your Google contacts and then to your CRM of choice. All the good CRMs that I've worked with all sync up to Google contacts. And so you want to make sure you have the person's first name, last name, and then under phone, if it's not already there as a mobile number, make sure it's changed to a mobile number. So you can click and you can select mobile. And the reason why is the best CRMs, like the one I provide for our agents at Exit Strategy Realty, they do texting, mass texting. You want to be able to market by text. So then you're going to want to put in that person's cell phone number, whatever that number is, and then, by the way, it is great on the way in the door to ask them if they've got an email address they'd like to share with you for your upcoming events. So at our office through Project X, we do a bunch of upcoming events. We want to be able to, of course, send them invitations to those events. So you would click on add email. And it doesn't matter what that email address account is labeled as. Unlike the mobile number where it's important you have mobile, so if you are in a great CRM like the one I provide to our agents, Wise Agent, Wise Agent has mass texting capabilities. Um, for mobile, you want to select mobile number. It does not matter which email address category you have that in. And then you're going to click Done. And when you're done, that person and whoever else you add or amend or edit, they are going to be syncing up from your phone into your Google Contacts. And we'll talk more about Google Contacts and WiseAgent in another upcoming video. Have a great day.